So next turn we move out. German revolt's happening. Uh, we don't actually have enough dudes over there. I can probably move a couple of dudes from Chopper to Harasatra. And we will get the cultural pressure soon. You guys all wear to turn because you can't go instantly. We have a hell of an army. Wait, do we not have espionage against the Incans? We don't know what their military strength is. Aren't we focusing on them? That's terrifying. Oh, we just spent all our points on flipping Fringian, which didn't particularly help. Uh, we will want work boats, but now's not the time to build it. Uh, switch to environmentalism. I'm going to say no. I'm not going to defy it. If they want environmentalism that bad, they can have it. Okay. Grab this whole stack. Leave behind the machine guns, who are never offensive, and two additional infantry to defend Bunisher. Rest of the stack move forward. Apparently we built another cannon over here. We whooped. Uh, who was that? That was, oh, that was a, that was a tip from number 18. Hey, thank you very much. Uh, first time I caught you on the live stream. We're really looking forward to seeing you on Monday. Britain Hype. I'm so happy. I was, I remember, I, I was tweeting about this a couple of days ago. I always get really worried whenever I announce a fan meet, you know, a meetup somewhere that, what if no one comes? I'll feel like such a loser. Um... And one of the things, and I thought, oh, this is such a, like, it's an out-of-the-way town. It's not right in London or something like that. And uh, it's an afternoon of a Monday. Everyone's going to be busy. It turns out so it's a holiday <laughs> in uh, in Britain that day. So uh, lots of people are coming. It's going to be great. We're going to be, like, 50 people currently. And who knows? So it's going to be a hell of a party. Had to let the uh, the pub owners know. Yeah, we, we're going to be a little bit of a crowd. I hope that's okay. Uh, most of these guys do still have to rest a bit before they move up more. Well, not that many. And we'll keep a little bit of a stack behind so we can't get ninja. You guys can at least make the move here in one turn. You guys just fortify up. Okay. Uh, Lacrid's Pibe. I've lost track of the war. Is Quill making gains? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. I think we're doing okay. Um, we'll look through things in a second here. Oh, environmentalism succeeds. So, we're environmentalists. We were... I don't even remember if we had this unlocked before. Because we I think we switched to free markets at some point to get away from mercantilism. Uh, but yeah. So, we get plus six health in all cities. And we get extra... Um, Economy, extra commerce from windmills and forest preserves, and extra health from public transportation. Look at us! We're hippies! Oh no! Alright, move in adjacent to the city. Alright, they got some stuff here. They got some more tanks kicking around. Lots of tanks in the city. Strength 28 is nothing to sneeze at. Uh, we do have some anti-armor upgrades available, so that'll be handy. Let's start moving up. And you guys fortify up. Tanks move fast, too. They can You can be really surprised by how quickly tanks can jump in on your stuff. Arasatru actually has a fair amount of cultural production when it's not uprising. That was Berlin, and we've been working on that for a while. Oh, they are deciding to attack the city. How'd they... How'd we get in there? Oh, right, they have rails and, and roads and stuff like that. Yeah, they might actually be able to take Vitkos behind us. That being said, I don't think that's as crippling a blow as you might think. Because I think we retake it and potentially even take the other city. I'm actually happier they're attacking the city than my units, because the city is actually much better defended than my city my units in open terrain. Fun fact, that city is a barbarian city the Incas conquered. Oh that's right! 
That's right. Okay, so yeah, Punisher did fall. But they took more hits on their units than you would normally think from that. Um, so all the d units that are in the city are pretty heavily damaged. Okay, I'm going to target Phrygian first. Because I'm here. I don't have that much attacking units, actually. Bombard. They have a lot of units in there. Uh, I'm not going to attack this turn because I'm going to want a full turn of cannon suicide into the city. Speaking of, though, I'm pretty sure we can take this back right away. I'm going to suicide two cannons up here. One actually withdrew, which is nice. There we go. Took it back. We'll have to rebuild the theater. And then we can actually kill this Marine, who's just sitting around here with, like, no hit points left. And we can reinforce our primary attack stack down here. Although I guess I could put more units in the city. Oh, but I can reach from over here. Ooh, these are just cannons. Well, I'll put in the three cannons. And that um, infantry. Oh, we can't reach because... Oh, the cannons don't actually have actions, so never mind. Let me just take this one infantry then, with the city a defender, put it in Bunisher, and everyone else... Just get three cannons to just wait a turn here. So they're not caught in the open, completely undefended. Okay. Oh, peace treaty with uh, France just ended. Oh my god, Spain's making a move! I hope I'm not like, oh, I wish I'd uh, peaced out last turn. If France, if, uh, if Spain can take the city, that will actually be really disappointing. I mean, we are killing some units, but they might have brought a giant stack here. Have they been bombarding the city? I don't remember seeing that. Oh, the city probably doesn't have any culture or walls, so it probably didn't actually have any city defense. Three defense, pretty good. And we have a good number of units there. I don't remember if we got a ton, though. Oh my god, bad beats! Lowell, thank you very much for the resub. Alright, that is four defense. These are two machine guns actually alternating back and forth that have done all the defense so far. Now an infantry just came in. It is important to remember that Spain has an army that's the same size as mine in total. So, and if she's got... If Isabella's got all her units concentrated in one place, she can easily overwhelm one of my cities. We've been getting some pretty good value here, but... I mean, each one of our units has had to defend multiple times... Yeah, she brought a lot of stuff over there. And there goes Nirlosa. Okay, well, I'll take another look. So what is sitting here? She's got four more healthy infantry there, and a handful there. She didn't have, like, unlimited troops over there, but she did have a pretty huge number. All right, let's do our thing over here. Um, we're going to go and just start suiciding in the cannons. Yeah, just, just weakening the entire stacks as much as possible. Now they're so weak, so our, our cannons aren't even dying anymore, which is nice. Okay, now that is a valuable city. And it hurts the Incans very directly. You over here definitely need to get a little bit more rest. 
Now, we do have the forces to take back... Whoa. Right, we have road access all over here. That's actually quite interesting. Is that in our turn if we go here? Because I don't want to attack across river. I'd rather not be on flat terrain, although that's it's not that bad. It doesn't end our turn. Interesting. Very interesting. This might be a little crazy. We can rebuild your troops quite quickly. Over here, purchase, draft. There we go, we have front line pretty quick. And, hmm, now they have a lot of city defense, but they only have four people in the city right now, and we can do splash damage from four cannons. I think we just go for it. Well, we'll evaluate after we sacrifice the four cannons. Oh, that was an 80. Rebuild the theater. We got a great general up there. Um, I will want to make a super unit. I just can't decide what right now. Let's go you to the front over here. All right. Let's see if we can piece out the Incans. You want gold and a city. You bastard. I mean, the AI correctly recognizes that its military strength is quite large because it's combined between the Incans and the Spanish. Uh, Corpe, thank you very much for the resub. And good Huns as well. Thank you. All right, you guys get in the city. The next, the next thing can city is very far away. Toledo is not very close either. I'm not a fan of this. But I'm also not a fan of being on the defense. Toledo was probably the next best target. We'll move the spy over there anyway. Fortify you up. I can't get the Spanish to peace because they are a vassal of the Incans. I cannot negotiate with them directly in any way whatsoever. If we wait one turn and they register this loss and they're in a position where they can't necessarily take it back, things might change. This city might get retaken here. Oh, I can get... You. Should build some defensive machine guns in these cities and then free up the infantry. Oh, can I draft in your Alyssa? No, there's one turn of Rebellion. I suppose I'll draft in my capital. At least it's happy. Who was selected? A unit here? Um, yeah. Okay, let's see what happens here. Don't know if Nero Alyssa will stand under control. There's still a lot of Spanish troops nearby. And because their borders go right up to mine, they can move up very quickly because their roads slash rail go all the way there. No, nothing. Interesting. How about now, Incas? And 
you got a military unit. Is this a large stack? No, it's just a singleton. And I'm assuming... Yeah, I wouldn't want to just attack you. You guys have done excellently. You're going to move into Nirolosa and fortify up. You can take the anti-gunpowder upgrade. Very good. So Nirolosa is going to be good and stable now. Anti-gunpowder. Get in the city. Fortify. And fortify. Alright, so yeah, I don't know what our next move is. <laughs> I'd be very happy with just piecing out and building up again. But, hey. War, what is it good for? Beating the crap out of the people who hate you. Maybe that spy there. She's got a lot of... Oh my god, she's got a lot of units over there. Holy crap. That would not be an easy city to take. And my border cities are still, again, with this, the borders being pushed like that, highly vulnerable. And we our truce with uh, Germany is basically over. If not, it, like, literally over, which means they could redeclare. Although, we have double the army size they do, so they may not be willing to do that. They do hate me a lot, though. Keep building culture buildings up near the front. And other than that, more cannons. And I think the next staging point will actually be near Losa with the idea of moving in against um, Spain. Because I think that's the most vulnerable. Draft you. Draft you. May as well draft at the front. I think drafted units you get instantly, too. Buy more cannons. Aeronaut, thank you very much for the, the resub. One more turn. Ask Khmer for help. That's actually a good point. They've been pieced out for a while. Khmer's actually got a pretty potent army. I should definitely check in on that. Oh, that was diplomatic victory. I just voted for France for diplomatic victory. Not leader of the UN. It's probably fine. Yeah. No, they're not willing. In before France just wins. We need to leave a fair number of units at the front here. Maybe not literally this many. There you go. I'm going to do that so I can escort the cannons over. So I'm going to free up these two infantry to move to the front. Uh, these cannons are moving in a relatively suicidal path, so let's avoid that. So I'm going to go and make a super infantry over here. Warlord. Hey, that was a tip. Charlesy. I'm Charlesy. I actually no I really I really don't know. 
it's I'm good now. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I'm really just starting to feel guilty and bad and weird and uh, come to Norway next. Well, um, yes, actually, we almost got invited to go to a con in, um, I want to say Trondheim. And, uh, I don't think that worked out, uh, but then I did a bunch of research. I think I'm thinking right, right? Tell me, first of all, that Trondheim is in Norway. I'm not Googling anything at all. Um... Yes, excellent. That's exactly what I was thinking of. Um, Trondheim. And uh, I did a bunch of research on it. And um, it was awesome. And I want to go see it. So that sort of thing might happen. I don't know if you're where you are. You should send me an email. You should send me an email. And let me know about stuff. Um, and yeah. That, that might be good. So, we'll, we'll see. Anyway, we've got four minutes left to this stream, so let's try not to F anything up for the last four minutes, despite the fact that we're feeling very distracted for some reason. I know I didn't get this cavalry to try to kill this guy. All right. It was only 53% chance to survive, not win, but since we survived, well, since we did damage, we knew that, and a nice little kill there without losing anything, and then run back into the city, and then fortify. Hooray! And you will just back into a city so you can repair. That's what the cavalry is good for, that withdrawal chance is good. My life is dumb, nothing makes any sense whatsoever. I'm too busy to actually process anything in, in real time ever. Uh... Okay, I just did a control F. I don't think Charlie's said or Charlie's has said anything in chat. Just people talking about him or her, I suppose. I don't know. Um, more cannons. Okay, Confucian Temple. Uh, the cannons fine here. You. Look at that. Now we got actual borders and stuff over here, which is great. Oh, the Forbidden Palace. Ooh, we do want to build it somewhere. We're going to have to figure that out. So, um, because Civ 4 doesn't have... <laughs> can't focus. Because Civ 4 doesn't have global happiness, uh, instead one of the things that it does to prevent you from growing too big and too wide and all those things is there's more corruption. The more cities you have, the further away they are from your capital. So, one of the things you can do is build a, a Forbidden Palace, and that sort of gives you effectively a second capital. We have to figure out where to plant that at some point. I'll go with the library, because science is good, and also it pushes out culture. And if I just keep talking faster, then I don't have to think about anything else, and everything is fine. Um, you. See, I'm just going to give you super withdrawal chances. And, um... Seriously, Incas, would you peace out? Okay, what if I took this option? War will continue. Yeah, sometimes it's like there's two different options with the, the war sort of peace kind of thing. Yeah, okay. So we are mounting an attack force near Losa, right? To move on Toledo? Which apparently isn't quite as far as I thought it was. So just fortify up. Kalgu, thank you very much for the sub! Dun, 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 dun. We are moving into near Losa. Oh yeah, this is my super promoted guy. Um, which is probably... I don't see like a big healer stack over there, so we're going to get another super medic. Super turbo medic in our stack in the front here. And fortify up. There's a lot you can do with actually those super people. You can make super withdrawal, like 50% withdrawal chance people, which is pretty amazing. It's a good way to start a battle. You just poke, run away, and then you've damaged the people anyway, so then you can go in and mop them up afterwards. Alright, good amount of cannons that are coming up. Good. I like it. Uh... Yeah, we have to make sure we don't run right along the front with our new units, though. That's the only thing. Uh, I'm going to give you that promotion and move you to Nirlosa. Can't believe these Incans are being such jerk faces. The war's over, bro. Oh, 
we might not need that many cannons over here to actually pop down the walls, but we will need them to smash the armies. Magic Lobster! Great name. That reminds me of, um... There's a, a pet you can get in World of Warcraft. It's... Oh, what is it? It's a Magic Crawdad. Not a Magic Lobster, but it's pretty close. Uh... Okay. Well, it's four o'clock... And I'm afraid, I'm afraid at this point that I'm just going to screw things up. So we're just going <sighs> to call the Civ at this point. I will remind everyone, we do have an extra bonus live stream tomorrow. Uh, it's Thursday, April the 28th at 1 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, I uh, will we'll, we'll be resetting the title and stuff like that. We'll have a countdown link for you over here on the stream. Uh, we will be playing... Um, uh, Off-World Trading Company, which is really a game that I love a lot. It's by the same person who was the lead designer on Civ 4 before he went indie. Um, but that is a, a sponsored stream. So, all the caveats. It's a sponsored stream, so, you know, it's not a review. Obviously, it automatically leads to a bunch of bias and da 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 da, da. But I did play this game uh, a year ago. You can check my old videos. And I liked it a lot back then, too. So, I don't think it's just a sponsorship. I'm actually really excited to be playing it tomorrow. Um, looking forward to that. Uh, of course, uh, next week I will be in the UK, in the UK, doing uh, a Stellaris press event. Uh, I don't know what coverage will be coming out of that. I suspect Paradox will be doing some sort of live coverage at this thing that you guys can see. It's going to be a big multiplayer game with a bunch of press people. It's going to be epic. If you are in Britain, there is going to be a meetup um, in, uh, it's in Old Windsor, Berkshire, uh, Berkshire probably. Um, if you go to facebook.com slash quillakeen, you can see the event with the details there. If you are on Facebook, please RSVP on that site. If you're not on Facebook, you can still get the details from there and then just email me. Just so we have, like, a basic head count so we can warn the pub about how many people are going to be cut there. Right now, there's about 50 people, so crazy. Uh, it is like a pub restaurant, so as far as I know, people of all ages can go in. Um, but if you are a minor, please bring an adult with you. These, of course, will be internet people. They're going to be weird. Not really, actually. All of our meetups are 100% awesome, almost without fail. It's really been incredibly epic. Um, even the crazy one in Copenhagen, which was almost like 200 people, uh, was just like, uh, just fantastic. But, better safe than sorry, and yes, yeah, so if you are a minor, uh, just bring sure, make sure to bring an adult with you. That's it for today's stream. Uh, thank you very much, everyone who came out. Uh, thank you, everyone who continues to support the channel. Um, I'm just some guy who plays video games, and I, I, I literally... I try not to think too hard about why any of this is happening because I'm pretty sure if I do, uh, I'll, I'll realize that none of this is real. So I'm just going to keep faking it and somehow things will just work. So see you next time. Uh, there are, uh, if you're into the Hearthstone stuff, there's going to be some more Hearthstone gameplay videos coming up a little bit later today uh, as I play my uh, Warlock Renounce deck, my Cthune Druid, and my Evolve Shaman. So look out for that. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.